this video, we're going to look at another example of integrating a rational function. Here I have the integral of x squared plus 2 all over x minus 1. Where this is a little bit different than the example that we had before, I have a higher degree term in my numerator than in my denominator. So this numerator is degree 2, and this denominator is degree 1. So in terms of different types of rational functions, one thing that we want to um, note here is this is actually an improper rational function. Okay, just like we can have um, fractions that are improper, um, such as four thirds is an improper fraction. Um, I can take something like four thirds and write it as one and one third or one plus one third. Um, the trick that we're going to want to apply here is to take this improper rational function where I have this higher degree term in the numerator and a smaller degree term in the denominator and use long division. So we're going to see um, the technique of using long division to simplify an improper rational function. So in applying this technique, I'm going to take x squared plus 2 and divide it by x minus 1. So this is serving as a little bit of review of polynomial long division, if you haven't done this in a little while. So I see that x minus 1 goes into x squared plus 2 x times, and then I'm going to multiply that x times my x minus 1, so that gives me x squared minus x. Subtract that down just like we would in regular um, long division. So I'm going to have 2 plus x, or x plus 2 out of this, because I'm going to have x squared minus x squared, so I have no x squared terms left. I'm not subtracting anything from the 2, and I have this minus a negative x, which gives me this x plus 2. Um, I'm not done yet, because this is the same degree term as what I'm dividing by, as the x minus 1. So I notice that this x minus 1 um, is going to go into this um, just one time, so I'm going to do plus 1, and then I have, oops, uh, 1 times x minus 1 is x minus 1. I'm subtracting that through. So I have x minus x, so no x terms left. 2 minus a negative 1 is going to give me uh, this remainder of 3. So what this shows me is that x squared plus 2 divided by x minus 1 is equal to x plus 1 plus 3 divided by x minus 1. It may help to just think about how this compares to... Um, when we would do long division just with numbers. So if we take another example, um, like the fraction, let's say 7 over 4, we know that that would be um, equal to 1 and 3 fourths. So notice that if I do 7 divided by 4, I have 4 going into 7 once. 1 times 4 is 4. I have this remainder of 3. 3 is less than 4. And then I can again see that 7 over 4 is equal to 1. This is how many times it goes in um, whole, and then I have the remainder and then out of what I was dividing by. So that's the 1 plus um, 3 over 4. So we see how that um, compares in terms of the algorithm to how we would do long division for numbers. So now I can use this long division. I have the integral of x squared plus 2 all over x minus 1 is equal to the integral of x plus 1 dx plus this integral of 3 over x minus 1 dx. I decided to just break that up into two pieces. Um, so I have then, by using a rule, x squared over 2, integral of x plus 1, I'm going to have x squared over 2 plus x. Then when I integrate 3 over x minus 1, that's going to be 3 times log of the absolute value of x minus 1. And I do need that absolute value there because the quantity x minus 1 could potentially be negative, so we need to have our absolute value bars. So this is exactly equal to our integral of x squared plus 2 over x minus 1.